Hello class and welcome to your daily dose of language arts. This is vocabulary and we are on unit four. This is lesson two. So you'll also see it as 7B. Um, in, your, in your vocabulary from Classics Roots Workbook, you are on pages 38 to 42. So here's your book. And 38 to 42. And we're dealing with words that are related to before. So they have the uh, root of anta or pre. So it is for before. So to begin, you're going to click on your numbers 7B under the lesson list tab on your online school. So if you would like to do that, you can do that now or go ahead and finish and then watch afterwards. And the online school reads, in this lesson, you will look for preposterous usages of words that contain the Latin root anta and pre. And the reason it says preposterous is because your directions say, circle the letter of the sentence in which the word in boldface type is used incorrectly. So it's kind of working with your vocabulary there. Um, in that sentence, so let's go ahead and look on pages two of three on your online school. It asks you to listen to the pronunciation of the 11 words and then study the roots and the key words from pages 38 to 40. And we listened to the words last time. So you can do that again on your own. And what I would like to do is just look at the words and the sentences they give for the words that have um, that begin with pre. So then you're going to need to go back and look at all of the words that begin with anta, A-N-T-E. And we'll look at pre together right now. Um, they begin on page 40. So if you want to get your workbook out, you can pause it, open to page 40. And we'll, we're just going to read the word and the sentence they give us. So pre, it says precept. Um, on precept, the sentence they give is, although his parents tried to teach him the precepts of good manners, he remained tactless and inconsiderate. So precept. The next one is predestination. And some of these words were very familiar to me. Used before, so they probably sound familiar to you as well. The belief that what happens in human life has already been determined so here's the sentence. The couple felt that predestination had brought them together. Predestination. The next word they use is preempt. The president's address preempted regular broadcasts. And premonition is how I say it, and they say premonition. So I'm pronouncing that a little different. I always have. So I'm not sure if that's just kind of a, an accent that I have or if I've just been pronouncing that word wrong my whole life. So I say premonition on that one. And when you listen to theirs, in fact, let's listen to it. Premonition for me, and here's how they say it. Premonition. Premonition. I guess I better start using that, saying it the correct way, right? Okay, so here it is. As she picked up the letter, she had a premonition that it carried bad news. Premonition. Okay, preposterous. And this is the word that they used on your online school in that first, first page, or that first, right when you open it up. The long skirts and high collars of the 19th century seem preposterous to active modern women. Absurd, preposterous, and pretentious. They chose a hotel with pretentious furnishings, but little comfort. And so uh, pretentious, that's showy, pompous. Okay, so those were the words beginning with pre. Now you're going to want to go back in and read the words that begin with anta before you begin the lesson. And today's lesson asks you to circle the letter of the sentence in which the bold Based type is used incorrectly. So it gives you, I'm going to hold this up real quick. It gives you four sentences 
on number one right there, four sentences. You read all four, A, B, C, and D, and you choose the one that is used incorrectly. Okay, so go ahead and make sure that you review all of your words, and then you're gonna go ahead and start on page 41. It's exercise 7B. Um, make sure that you continue to use these words in your, you know, while just with your family, with your friends, practice using them. Um, and then go to your online school and complete the assessment there. Uh, just a little reminder, I want you to continue to work hard to follow your daily plan. I know I've mentioned that before. Your language arts teacher can tell you exactly where you should be. If you're thinking, I, I think I'm really behind on my vocabulary or on my gum, you can always um, K-mail your teacher and ask her exactly where should you be at this point. In fact, I think I could probably tell you. And then if you have any other questions, let me get my little paper out here. As of, let's go with um, November 15th. As of November 15th, you should be on Unit 7, Lesson 4 of gum. So unit seven, lesson four of gum. That would be of um, November 15th. And let's see, as of November 16th, you should be on um, November 17th, you should be on this lesson. So if you're watching this lesson right now and you, and it's November 18th or before then you're right where you should be, or you're ahead. Okay, so this lesson today um, is to be right on track. You should you should be on your vocabulary lesson two, unit four. Okay, take care. Thank you.